Ranch it, baby. Just leave that gold medal under the tree for me. It'll be the only sports thing I'll ever win. <laughs> What's happening, Palooza Party? It's your girl Gigi, and you are watching Anime Palooza. Today, it's time for day number nine of the 12 days of anime, and this is where I am counting down or up, depending on your preference, the top seven anime I completed in 2016. Um, today is my number four choice, and I will admit to you, I am cheating a little bit on this one. The last episode of this anime airs tomorrow. And I'm purposely recording this video today, well tomorrow as in Wednesday the 21st, and I'm purposely recording this video today because I have a lot to say about this anime and I want proof to see if I'm right or wrong once the end comes. Um, clearly this is Yuri on Ice <laughs> is my number four pick. And I'm sure I'll, you're all like, Gigi, you retweet this shit about Yuri on Ice. You're planning out your cosplay. Why is this your number four anime of the year? There were three more anime that didn't air this year that I put in my top three spots. So this was my best anime that aired that I completed in 2016. However, <laughs> I have a lot to talk about with Yuri on Ice and this is probably going to be the longest video of the 12 days of anime and I'm going to stop it in the middle because I'm going to talk about spoilers. But if you haven't gotten on this hype train yet, Yuri on Ice is a sports anime about ice skating. It's about male figure skating, but he's Yuri. Um, he's a figure skater, placed last in the Grand Prix final, and pretty much thought his career was over. He moves home to eat a lot of katsudan and hang around with this girl who has triplets from another guy who I think he was in love with at one point, but who knows. <laughs> and he's all really depressed until he skates a routine that his idol Viktor Nikiv Nikiforov, Nikiforov from Russia, Russia, that's about all of my Russian accent you're gonna get, um, skated to. He basically copies him and it gets put on YouTube and the next thing you know Victor is in Russia saying Yuri I am going to be our coach instead of using another year for him to be a professional skater. Insert another Yuri from Russia who is a little kid who also wants Victor to be his coach. We have a lot of competitions going on, a lot of great costuming, a lot of fantastic animation, original music. Yuri on Ice is amazing. I love it. And now I'm going to spoil it. So if you have not seen Yuri on Ice, at least up to episode 11, um, I beg of you experience it for yourself. Just like School Live, this is an anime that you don't want to miss. So stop my video right here. There's nothing else I'm going to say about anything else. I'm going to talk about my theories and spoilers and what I think about the other aspects of this show. And I'm going to go into like grave, as grave a detail as I can. If you haven't seen Yuri and I, stop the video now. If you're caught up to date for the episode before the finale, let's talk trash. All right, you ready? I'll give you... We were born to make history. Okay, now I'm going to talk about spoilers. <laughs> My grand theory behind Yuri on Ice, and it is one I have stuck to since the very first episode, is that Yuri and Victor do not have a romantic relationship together, that their relationship is professional not necessarily like professional like they're in a giant corporation and I'm pretty sure if they did some of the stuff that they did in a giant corporation there'd be like HR mishaps everywhere and sexual harassment suits but that they're not romantically involved and this is where you guys are gonna thumbs down the video and are like Gigi what kind of crack are you smoking okay so here's here's my reasoning behind this number one I think that as the show has gotten more and more popular, it clearly isn't finished. It evolved as it was going, which is something to really think about. And Sayo Yamamoto, who is one of the creators of the show, she even said herself, I didn't mean for this to be a romance. I meant for this to be a figure skating anime. She meant for this to be a sports anime. And everything so far that I've seen technically could go either way. She also said that everything is really subject to your interpretation. So this is my interpretation of it. I really think that Yuri, Japanese Yuri, wants Victor to be his coach. He wants Victor 
to only coach him at you know, this is at the beginning and as their relationship and their bond grows it's a bond between coach and pupil like everybody's like they're getting married he bought wedding bands all this kind of stuff he kissed that kiss like in episode seven was victor trying to surprise yuri because he didn't know what to do i really relate to victor the character in a lot of ways for my own personal reasons and I can tell you that if you've gone through every option in your mind about stuff that needs to be done about how to motivate somebody and how to to make them trust you and how to deepen your relationship with them sometimes you run out of options and you're like what will surprise this person like what can I do to make them even more motivated oh my god there's sirens going off it's like the sirens of you're not shipping the shipping sirens what can i do to help them win to help them believe more in themselves and sometimes what you can do is you can give them attention you can show them affection i think that in the beginning everything that japanese yuri and victor had done was to strengthen their bond as coach and student why did yuri buy him a ring that was their good luck charm it said in the anime that was their good luck charm they were a matching set for them both to have so hopefully yuri can win the grand prix final and then as it went on this is where i think that the anime kind of baited itself now i'm just saying this because really don't think and i love this scene the end credits of episode 10 you know the drunken yuri banquet scene I love it. I think it's fucking amazing and it's the one thing that made me like Japanese Yuri. But at the same time, I think it was thrown in there at the last minute. You can't tell me that on episode one she planned to have this backstory where Yuri got drunk and basically confessed his love to Victor at this banquet. You can't tell me. I can't. I, if you said that was planned from episode one. I just think you're full of shit because she specifically said that it didn't start out to be to have this romance this romancy shipping bond between Victor and Yuri. I believe that Yuri on Ice is very aware of who its audience is and very aware of what it's doing. I mean the ending credits for the most part are like an Instagram feed that's very in time and in tune with what kids are doing. Everybody's on friggin Instagram, everybody's on Twitter tweeting about all this stuff and it's very aware. It's very aware of that. It's aware of the shipping. It's aware of victory victory like squish their names together and you get victory it's aware like when they're in public he doesn't want to get into it even when they're in private you always see like victor jumping on him or the one time when they were at that rink and he was in practice and they were hugging that was probably the only time i got on like the ship train like that the ship was there and sailing we can sing a stick song later i have two theories on, about how yuri on ice is gonna end they both involve Japanese Yuri losing. There is no situation in the history of life that will make me believe <laughs> that he's gonna win this Grand Prix final. In fact, if he wins the Grand Prix final, I will fucking watch some horrible fan service anime and I will make a video about it. Like, you guys, go in the comments below, you pick the most horrible fan service anime you can think of and I will watch it. No hentai, please. Don't say Boku no Pico, I've already seen it. <laughs> um, anyway, so the two ways I think this is gonna end, Yuri loses, I eat my words and they actually get married anyways. The second way, you know, let the ship sail, let it sail into victory love land. Um, the other reason why I don't think that they're romantically involved is because at the end of episode 11 where Yuri was like, let's end this. I don't think Victor is going to be a professional skater again. I think that Victor will want to coach different people. So when he says, let's end this, I think he's referring to their relationship as coach and student. You can obviously see that Victor's watching the other skaters out on the ice and all of the good things that he did for Yuri, he can share and do with other people. And that is where my second ending comes into play, where Yuri loses and Victor moves on to coach other people people and Yuri moves on to coach other people. He becomes a coach like Victor and they don't see each other anymore. They don't get married. They're not in a relationship, nothing. So um, those are the two ways I think that Yuri on Ice is going to end. I will not hate it if I am proven wrong and the ship is real. Okay, I'm just saying. 
this is my personal interpretation. I feel like I'm the only one who has this interpretation, but I'm sticking to it. I'm going to stick to it to the end. And I like them together. I think they're super cute. So like I said, I won't hate it if they end up together, happily married with a zillion ice skater little toddlers. That's my interpretation. I really love Yuri on Ice and I love the fact that it has so many things that people can talk about and debate about and that everybody puts so much care and love into it, which is why it's my favorite anime that aired in 2016 and my fourth favorite anime that I completed this year. And that was everything for this video. Let me know your thoughts about it or Yuri on Ice down in the comments below. Keep going. What's your number four anime of the year? Let me know your thoughts and we'll have a little party down in the comments. I post videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays and tomorrow because I'm doing the 12 days of anime where a bunch of crazy YouTubers and bloggers sit around and post things for 12 days all the way up until Christmas. I will leave a link to the database down in the down bar also if you want to check out anybody else is stuff. As always, feel free to follow me on Twitter or my anime list. My username is AnimePalooza at both places. And until next time, love your faces.